here in Senegal and I'm at Dreams American Sports Bar and, and Bar and Lounge actually. But I seen it, I seen it on uh, YouTube somewhere, somehow, some way. However, I was hungry and I was like, let me go out there and see what Dreams is all about. I heard it's owned by a brother from the state. I don't, I'm not sure. I know he's from the East Coast though. So let's go in and let's check it out. Let's see what the menu looked at like, and I'm gonna I'm gonna order some, order some food. So we right here in Senegal. Let's take a look around. Man, it's beautiful, man. I've been here for the past couple of days. We're about to get an apartment up here, do some business up here, make some things happen. You know, we're also going to a few other African countries to do some business and tie in. It's just. It's a, it's a lot going on, man. There's a lot going on in the world. We gotta be on top of it to take advantage of it. So let's go up and dream to see this. Bad dreams, man. This is a gorgeous over, over the. Uh, <laughs> I just, I'm just having such a great time being in West Africa. Man, I can't express the peace that's here. After being in America. <laughs> living in America, coming up in America, coming, they coming to Africa, and being able to go back to a place where people have self-identity, self-respect. It's, it's like, you know, it's family here. I'm looking forward to going to other nations. Looking forward to going to other nations. Well, here we are, there's a brother from the States. He came here. Opened up a, a business, dreams. This is the balcony. They got a stage up here. I know it's nighttime, but the last, the last one that is missing. What's the alchemy? Anyways, there are. Got a little ball here, whatever. They got the bathroom set up here. It's another level right there too.
So we're gonna go sit back down in the area we this is our table right here. Uh, so it's a nice little ambiance here. I don't wanna get uh, too many people on the camera. So they got this nice white, <clears throat> nice white chair set up and they got TVs on the wall right here. You know, there's families in here chilling, got the little sign in the background. You can take pictures in front of that if you like. Yeah. So I had a long day today, man. So we were actually at the house and decided to come out and get some, get some food. Let me get the menu. Sis. All right. So this is dreams. I won't be having any of this. Man, I've been just so focused, man. I don't, I don't have the desire to drink. I've been so busy and focused on getting things done. And I'm just, I'm filled off life. I'm filled off life. So he's gonna grab the menu and bring it over for me. So here's the menu. We got a breakfast menu, avocado toast, berry fruit toast, uh, egg, uh, cheese, egg, bacon, crepes, classic omelet, potatoes, frits, bacon, sausage, pancakes, extra eggs. So they have a US menu because you don't see pancakes and grits, especially grits. All right, croissant, sausage, bacon, egg, egg. Okay, so the main items is uh, pancakes and the uh, French toast. Very French toast. And then, of course, they got classic olives. I don't see home fries, though. So that's what I saw that skillet potato, that's it. Okay. So they have appetizers, green beans, vegan uh, fried nuggets, wing platter, taco platter, sandwiches, the Atlanta, Philly cheese steak, dreamy shrimp, dreamy shrimp, cold boy, veggie sub. They got juices over here. Then they got burgers, California burgers, Wisconsin, Berlin burger, New York burger, mac and cheese burger. That might be great. Mustard burger, Texas, Big Dark Burger, Phoenix, Chili. So they got the burger menu, then they got tacos up there, they got some Mexican going on, they got the taco bowl, uh, Texas barbecue tacos, vegan cauliflower tacos. It, it's a nice menu. They have a really, really nice menu. They have pizza, Mexican crunch, jerk, Jamaican jerk, gumbo, hot and buffalo, Greek Mediterranean. Asian teriyaki, man. They did a great job with this. They got the T-bone steak in there. They got entrees here. Lamb chops, beef, chicken kebab, filet mignon, T-bone steak, black and Cajun fish, yasu chicken salad. I'm getting this, the chicken fettuccine Alfredo. Great one. Then they got mac and cheese. It's a hot menu. If you here, come check them out. All right, we just ordered our food. We're gonna see how that is going to shortly. And I think I'm gonna do that after Congo. The 300 or 3500 stay for That's pretty much like seven dollars. This one here is five dollars. 20, 2500 stay for 250 dollars. <laughs> All right. My so my food has arrived. And this is the Alfredo. I started eating it, but I, I almost forgot to uh, video it, uh, record. However, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, it's definitely up there. I've been, you know, I live where I'm from. I live where there was a community of Italian, Italian. So I've really had Italian food at the highest level. And I've been around to different places. If I had to rate this, this would definitely be, you know, 
up, you know, seven, eight on the scale of Alfredo that I've had. But I mean, it's really good. You know, I say seven, eight. I would just have the chicken cook more. You know what I mean? That'll bring it up to like a nine. But it's, uh, it's awesome. This is the only thing we're gonna order today. Maybe we'll try something else before we leave out. But all right, we're gonna just conclude this, and I'm gonna eat my food. Peace. Okay, so we here chilling, and you got the what salmon and fries. That's pretty good. I got the Alfredo right here, and uh, it's pretty good, man. If I had a if I had a uh, skillet, I would say it's, it's a seven, eight. If the chicken was done uh, uh, differently, and it was well done, they get an eight and nine. It's definitely some of the best. I think overall it's probably, you can't really find good food, or like, uh, well, the food that we eat here. You can't really find the food that we eat as far as the rest, but this is one of the places where you can, so as far as I'm concerned, you know, it's uh, you get a thumbs up especially because I love chicken fettuccine alfredo. So, it's also a nice, beautiful environment, nice ambiance. <laughs> Peace. We're here meeting up with our friend. They have a blockade at the end of the block so cars can't come down here at a certain time. It's a beautiful community here in Senegal, West Africa. We're going out to the club, it's gonna be my first time, you know, going out to the club here in Senegal. <clears throat> Today we had an awesome day, man. Very adventurous day. We went to the monument. We went down to Dream. We had this a little delay in our flight and things that cause us to have to stay over a little bit longer, but it's all good. It's all good. All right, here are people coming up the street now. That's him, right? That's him coming? Yeah. All right. Huh? Before I get on some house, let's just wait for him down there. Oh, okay. Look at this building right here, nice. Mm. 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 You can, you can, you can uh huh. I'm good. I'm gonna. I don't hold on to it too, too. I'm gonna lay down right there <laughs> until he come in a power nap. You know. Yeah. We we, uh, we just got let off. They have a, a, a bar at the end, a blockade at the end of the street, so you can't come in this area after a certain time. But we're right down the street from the beach. We're meeting up with a friend of ours. We're gonna go out to the club and see. This will be my first time going out to the club and see what Senegal nightlife look like. So it's 12 o'clock. We have a friend I live over here. We got a lock-in apartment over here. But right now we're gonna walk down to the beach. And meet up with our friend and then we're gonna go out to the club. 